my name is Sarah. Today I'm going to be showing you how I dress for snowmobiling or outdoor activities. I am a beginner snowmobiler. The past few years I've been on the back of my husband's and this year I have my own. So the back though is way colder than the front in my opinion. Um, I've suffered a lot throughout the years. Really, really cold treks. Um, and my feet and my hands are usually the worst so I kind of have it figured out this is beginner friendly and um, affordable so it's not like the ritzy expensive snowmobile gear but um, except for my jacket but I do have a gift card for some snowmobile gear so I'm gonna be getting new boots um, I'm pretty sure maybe some snow pants but anyways beginner friendly affordable what I wear snowmobiling. I did a winter clothes, winter layering video a few years ago and someone requested this and I told them I would do it and then I never did. So here it is, my layering guide for snowmobiling. So first of all, I have on a sports bra. This is the Gymshark Whitney Simmons sports bra. Sports bras are so important. I've worn regular bras out. Mm -mm. No, the girls will be sore. So make sure you have like a really good compression sports bra that's not going to hurt your shoulders, that doesn't push down too hard. This one is perfect for me. I have it in two colors, so I'll probably wear this all winter. And then I have on these base layer. Um, these are the Paradox ones. These are from Costco, really affordable. They are really thin though and see-through. So if you're ever going to take off your pants somewhere, your snow pants somewhere, be careful of that. But super, super thin. They're not meant to be that warm, I don't think, but they are just like a nice base layer sweat wicking to have under. And then I'm going to put on these socks. These are from Giant Tiger, but they're like the woolly, woolly socks. And they're super warm, but I do bring two pairs of socks with me so that if they do get wet, I can switch, even though your boots are probably wet. But I hate, like... I have trouble with socks. If anyone has like a really good pair of socks and boots, let me know down below. Another option would be these Modetta leggings. These are from Costco and they are like fleece lined and I love these. I wear them in the winter like if I'm going skating or something and I don't want to wear snow pants. So totally depends on how cold it is, what your comfort level is, but these are a really good option too. Like if it was really cold, I might throw these on um, instead of these. But then I always put on a pair of joggers, some loose joggers. These are the head ones. They are men's from Costco and I'll throw these on over top. And I like how when they're high waisted and they come up, I just find them more comfortable. And then under, I mean over my top, I am wearing this Walmart, doesn't have to be expensive, fleece lined uh, half zip that I got years ago. It's like for running in the winter, but it's really warm and has thumb holes, which I love thumb holes. So you can also like cover your hands up, but so throw that on and then do it up to your preference. One thing for me is I hate hoods under my helmet, so I'm going to get really hot because the fire is rolling here. So if it's not that cold, you could put on something sweat wicking like this Swiftly Tech from Lululemon. As you can see, I love black, but this is the Swiftly Tech Long Sleeve from Lululemon, so you could put this on instead of this then I have this fleece from Joe Fresh and I kind of wish I got the size up but this is only $20 and I know some people like loose clothing rather than tight some people tight clothing makes them colder so it's literally just your preference I'm gonna get really toasty so then I have my snow pants these are from Costco also and they have done me well in the past few years, but I might upgrade to some bib pants. And uh, these are small, and I have a medium as well that I wear like snowmobiling because um, the layers don't fit under the small, but my cousin has them at her house, so I'm gonna pretend these do up, but they definitely don't. And then I have my FXR coat. This coat is 
the only like professional thing I have besides my helmet. So then I put this on. I have to get those snow pants back because these don't even do up. And then I put this on and I do it all the way up around here. So that is how that looks. Then um, my boots. Uh, right now are these heavy duty winter boots but I'm going to get a professional pair these are just from uh, Canadian Tire I think and then so then I have this Bella Clava from Costco and then my helmet is I wonder if there's a picture on it so I'll just take it out yeah it's just this one and it has the flip up visor on it and it's matte black it's so cool but it has a flip up visor on it which I highly recommend because if you stop to talk to someone you don't have to take your helmet off you just flip your visor up and then it also has a sunglass thing that comes down so really like this version of this helmet but that is what how I layer I also wanted to add in what I bring on the snowmobile with me so I bring my wallet of course you need your license and your money also bring like to bring some water. This is my Yeti water bottle and helps it from like not freezing but super cute. This one has my name engraved on it. Um, but bring water, drinks, and then um, I usually bring a protein bar and I usually just stick this in my coat pocket. Um, I am someone who can literally not function if I'm hungry so I always make sure I have a protein bar in case people don't want to stop for food or if it's longer than you think and you're really hungry. Come, it came in handy lots and lots of times. I also bring lip chap because, or sorry, not lip chap, well lip chap, but um, SPF lip chap because um, last year I forgot it and then we ended up standing outside for a lot longer than we than I thought we were going to and then the reflection of the Sun burns my lips and I burn my lips really easily but then I get really bad blisters on my lips so I make sure to always have that I also stick in my pocket sunglasses for the same reason always bring sunglasses with me um and like if i don't have makeup on i like to stick those on because then you just can't tell and then also i bring a toque with me everywhere i go it's usually my carhartt toque and what i do is i just shove it right in my coat like i unzip my coat shove it in and then it's always right there then when i take my helmet off i just grab it out and put it there you could also put it like if you have a storage facility or like thing on your snowmobile but I just like to keep it in here it's nice and warm and I always know it's right there and then I can just easily grab it out if we're going in somewhere and put it on um, again because my hair can look pretty crazy so that is everything that I usually bring with me besides like your registration or whatever you need but I'm a little extra with the water and the, like I, I like to be prepared so it's just how it is. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.